In this video, we are taking a look at what Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Arsenal's newest signing, will offer them. Some of the things that Arsenal fans can expect from him now that you've signed him. Uh, an absolutely incredible signing by Arsenal. Didn't really expect them to get him, um, but they've pulled it off, which really shows that Arsenal does still have some pulling power, despite a small decline in recent years. So we're going to be analyzing a match where he played against Tottenham and had a pretty good performance. Obviously, Arsenal's uh, arch rivals Tottenham, so I thought this would be a good team to show him playing against since it's an English team and also Arsenal's rivals. How this is going to work is I'm going to show you every single touch he took in the game. I'm not going to analyze every single touch. I'll be analyzing select um, plays in the game that he's involved in, uh, kind of breaking it down a little bit to kind of show you the strengths he has and what he's going to bring to this Arsenal team, which I think is quite a lot. Um, and really, um, Arsenal are looking pretty stacked in the attack now, and he's definitely going to bring a lot to this Arsenal team. So let's get right into it. <music> So this first play he's involved in is actually a very good play by him. He runs directly at the Tottenham defense, being direct, and actually plays a very, very good ball, um, just a little too far ahead of the player. Uh, but this is something about Aubameyang. He can be very direct. He's got a lot of pace. He'll run directly at the defense. He's not afraid to take those kind of risks. Uh, sometimes his end product is lacking a little bit, but in this case, I actually really like the ball he played in. It was always going to be a difficult ball to play in. I like that he keeps it. Uh, down on the ground and uh, it just looks like the player delays his run and so isn't getting there because Tottenham try and play the offside trap um, but in this play in particular in the first play of the game for Aubameyang uh, this is uh, pretty good. So this is an absolutely fantastic play by Aubameyang. This is an incredible goal. He receives the ball, he's allowed to turn, and he's not afraid to take the shot on, which is just as impressive as the strike. Many players don't have the courage to shoot from there, but you know, with Aubameyang, he is not shy of goal. And this, he couldn't have hit this any better. Gets it to dip, gets it to swerve and swivel into that bottom corner. Um, and this is something you'll get from him as well. He can definitely strike a ball very, very sweetly. Um, this is good awareness from him, knowing that he can turn. And again, having the courage to take this, um, you know, there's definitely some risk involved in missing, but it's right into the corner. It's a perfect strike. He couldn't have hit it any better. And again, this is something you can expect to see more from him as an Arsenal player. He's not afraid to take the shot on. He's not afraid to take the risk of shooting uh, when he gets close to goal. And I think every good goal scorer needs this little bit of selfishness and ability to do this. You look at, for example, Harry Kane, um, who was uh, probably playing opposite in this match. I'm not sure, but you look at him, one of the reasons he scores so many goals is he's not afraid to shoot, whether it's from distance or whether it's close to goal. And I think every team needs that kind of striker in their ranks, a player who's not afraid to pull the trigger when he gets a sight of goal. And with Aubameyang, you're not only getting a player who's not afraid to do it, you're getting a player who's pretty damn good at it, as you can tell by this strike. So this is an excellent goal from him. Um, and I love that he has the courage and ability to shoot from distance. Okay, so here is actually a good play by Aubameyang, but it's, it's not a great um, decision-making at the end. We just saw him score an incredible goal, but watch as he delays way too long here and messes up the opportunity. This is something about his game I think needs improvement, his decision-making and his decisiveness in front of goal. I know he scores a lot of goals and his finishing can be really good, but in this situation, he should be bursting away. They should be getting nowhere near him and he should be scoring in all honesty. He should never let the defender get a chance to recover there. He should be away. I mean, it's the defender, um, you know, has he has a defender on the ground. It's actually the right back that gets all the way over and it manages to tackle him. And um, something he needs to work on, I'm sure Arsene Wenger will be working on with him, is his decision making in these situations, being more decisive and working on his finishing a little bit. Even though he's a good finisher, I don't think he's world class um, at finishing yet. And imagine how many more goals he'll score when he is. So. Um, good play initially to get the room and the opportunity um, to potentially score a goal, and he really should be scoring, but it, I think it's just a bad decision to delay here. 
he's just not decisive enough in, enough in this situation. So we're just going to pull it back for this play as well. Another good play by Young. Outside the foot cushion to one of his players. Um, very good. You know, he does have pretty good hold-up play, and he is able to combine well with teammates. And in this instance, he's turn, helping turn defense into attack and allowing Dortmund to counter. Um, again, this is something that's good about his game. He'll come back, he'll show for the ball, um, and he'll be able to um, set attacks on their way. Another good play by Aubameyang, it's a first time pass into the path of one of his players, good awareness by um, Hugo Lloris in order to cut that out. But another thing you know, about Aubameyang's game, he's very attack minded, um, he you know, will be trying things like this, trying to be creative, trying to get teammates in behind, trying to get a goal. Um, I do think his passing in general could use a bit of work, it's not at that world class level. Um, which is not always to be expected of a striker, but he does try things and he will take risks and he will do the, th the thing you don't expect sometimes, um, which is always good and always dangerous. And here he demonstrates good hold up play again, fends off a defender, controls it well, makes sure he retains possession of the ball. Nice little back heel, cheeky little flick there. This is going to be very important in the Premier League as he comes up against very um, um, physical teams week in and week out. He's going to need to be strong, he's going to need to be able to hold the ball up. Um, with Giroud looking like he's on his way out of Arsenal, they don't really have that traditional target man, but Aubameyang actually does have some of these qualities even if he isn't the biggest player. Um, Lacazette doesn't seem like the best hold-up player, so they'll be hoping not always being able to do this, but in, these, um, in some instances being able to hold the ball up, wait for his teammates to join in the attack like this, um, and he does a good job of that in this instance. Again here, we're going to see how attack-minded he is. He has plenty of space. He gets it right away and faces up the defender, looking to take him on, looking to tease him with a couple of step-overs. And then the ball he plays in is actually the right idea, trying to find that run. Um, the execution just isn't the best. But again, I just love how attack-minded he is. He tries to make things happen. He's not afraid to take the risk. And, you know, just a slightly better ball, and his teammate gets on the end of that. It's not an easy ball to play by any means. But again, I like the idea. I like that he's trying trying to make things happen here. So in this play, we're finally going to see Aubameyang's pace. Um, he is so quick, one of the fastest players in the world, but you're also going to see how he'll lack composure sometimes. Now, to be fair, the ball does bobble before he hits it, but you can see he's not going for placement here. He tries to just whack it and again I really think his finishing can use some work again I'm not saying he's a bad finisher he is a really good finisher and he scores plenty of goals a lot of goals he you know in the last few seasons has been one of the top scorers in Europe every season however I do think he's not at that world-class stage of finishing um, and this is one of the reasons why he just loses his composure swings kind of wildly at it but again you're seeing his pace here, which is going to be such an asset in the Premier League. And Arsenal fans can get excited about the fact this guy is just so quick. He'll be able to run off the shoulder of defenders, run into the channels, and get in on goal all of the time. And it's just about now can he go from a good finisher to a world-class finisher. Because I think if he can, you know, he, he's going to be up in the Premier League top goal scoring list. Hopefully um, for Arsenal fans competing with Harry Kane in that regard. Um, and, you know, Arsenal haven't really had a goal scorer like that since probably Robin Van Persie and before that Henri. So, you know, I know it's going to be a very welcome sight to have a goal scorer like that. But again, his pace is just such an asset. Um, and I'm sure that Arsenal fans will be looking forward to seeing him make these kind of runs for them. So another pretty good play by him. He's made the run into the channel, received the ball. And I like that he's waiting here. He does a few moves. The run for his first teammate there isn't open, so he delays it and then tries to play a little ball here to his teammate. Again, the execution isn't great, but I like the idea. I like that he holds the ball up. He waits for support. He doesn't try and do it all himself at this point because he can see how many Tottenham players are going to be there. He's not going to be able to dribble his way out of this. Um, so the idea is good. Again, nice patient play. The execution isn't the best. 
Um, but again, that's a hard, really hard ball to play um, accurately. It needs to be perfect in that situation. So I'd say overall, this is a good play. Good skill, good hold up, and a good cr idea trying to be creative in this situation. Again, this play is going to show some of the really good things about him and some of the things that are lacking. I mean, you never want to dive in on him here. Bad play by Trippier. Um, but look at this touch. That is an abysmal touch, especially when the ball wasn't doing anything. And he basically takes the chance away from him and cuts out the space he just created. Um, and he plays the ball in. But it would have been a lot more dangerous with a better touch here. And it's a pretty easy touch to make. Again, this first part is great. Doing the give and go, timing it perfectly. He's able to get in with his pace. And it's just this touch that lets him down. Again, you're seeing the best and the worst of his game. Um, where I think it's just a slipping concentration here um, where he takes a bad touch and he's put into a corner and essentially the attack is cut out because um, because of that touch. But again, creating the opportunity was it was a really good play by him. Great little give and go um, and just needs to work on his concentration in that situ in those kind of situations because he should be taking that touch towards goal but instead takes a really heavy touch with a really easy ball to control, honestly, um, out wide, which isn't the best. Okay, so he's going to grab himself another goal. It's a good play by him. Good touch, good take, good run. Um, but again, it's not the best finish. It's actually a mistake by the keeper. And this is what I'm talking about with his finishing. He just goes to whack it again in a, in a situation where he doesn't need to. And it, he does go in. It's a mistake by Lloris. Um, I just wish in these situations he'd hit it hard and low towards the corner. And maybe that's what he's trying to do. Um, but he hits it down the middle and just gets fortunate that one, Larice dives before he shoots it, and two, that it just hits off his hand and goes in. And I can't fault him because he's got two goals in this game, but he could have many more if his finishing was world-class instead of just good. And again, a world-class goal scorer in this situation. He hits that hard and low towards the corner every single time and scores. And again, most keepers, nine out of ten times, Larice saves this shot. So this is his final play of the game, and he actually does really well here. Again, he finds that space a little bit um, out more out wide to the left center, um, delays, does a little step over, notices that the defender doesn't buy it, does well to cut it back, and then find a teammate who just blasts it over. Honestly, the teammate should have done a lot better with that. But this is much better. This is what I want from him. You know, it's a good run. He uses his pace to his advantage to get further towards the box, to get into the box. He, you know, holds the ball up by doing a little step over, cutting back, seeing that the defender reads him, and then cutting it back to his teammate. And this, you know, as far as Aubameyang is concerned, he's done everything he could possibly do in this situation. He's done everything right, and it just happens to be that his uh, teammate kind of fluffs his lines in this case. But this is better. This is better composure, better decision making, and on, on his best day, or at his best, this is what he'll bring you in most situations. Okay, guys, so those are some of the things that Arsenal can expect from Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Um, you know, he's a fantastic player. You know, it's amazing to think that even though he's still a bit raw, that he's still scoring as much as he does. My biggest criticism of him, again, is kind of his decision-making in those decisive moments or in those moments where he should be scoring or setting up a teammate. But I, I only say that because he already scores so many goals and imagine how many more he would score and set up. You know, if his decision making was a bit better in these moments and instead of just being a good finisher, he was world class. But you can see the, the strengths he has. He's so pacey, so quick. You know, he is so creative as well. He can create chances. He can score the chances as well. Can score absolutely wonder goals like you saw earlier in this video. I just think there are a few things he needs to smooth out, a few rough areas, um, you know, including his decision making sometimes and how decisive he is. But he's creative, he's attack-minded, which suits Arsenal perfectly. You know, he's not afraid to um, shoot the ball, which in a team like Arsenal, which can overcomplicate things sometimes, you need that type of player with that level of selfishness. That is good in some cases, as long as he doesn't overdo it.
So thank you for tuning in to this just quick analysis video of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang looking at his game against Tottenham. Uh, please like it and share it if you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing other videos of different players in individual matches, um, going over their individual highlights in matches like this. So let me know if you want more and what players you want me to cover. Um, I will put two other videos up on the screen from this series so you can take a look and learn some more about some of the best players um, in their individual performances. And I'll see you in the next video.